proposed legislation could soon bring a new hunting season to Wisconsin. Sandhill cranes reportedly cause hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage to crops each year. But some crane advocates uh, say hunting shouldn't always be the first choice to control the damage. Fox 11's Bill Miston brings us multiple views. About a hundred years ago, the nation's sandhill crane population, plagued by unregulated hunting and habitat loss, wasn't looking good. But now, according to recent counts, the migratory bird population is up, big time, numbering around 72,000, stretching from Ontario down to Florida. The groups of two turned into groups of 10, 12 already. And that number has grain farmer Randy Keel worried. We're basically the... If the farmers are feeding your deer, your turkeys, your geese. Now we're starting to feed the cranes and we have no control on them. They'll just go right down the row of corn as they come out. When they're just spiking through, they'll just, pick up, they'll just go right down the row and pick everyone out, especially when they take out 50 feet out of the row, you know. So that's getting to, that's where you're coming into your problems. Last October, 38,000 Sandhill cranes were counted in Wisconsin, and the damage they can do to crops can be extensive. According to numbers submitted to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, over the last four years, Sandhill cranes have caused more than $1.7 million worth of crop damage. They definitely are a detriment to farmers. Republican State Representative Joel Clayfish of Oconomowoc says the crane problem is an easy fix. Hunt them. Clayfish, who is a hunter and host of a hunting show in Wisconsin, says the proposed bill would add to the hunting traditions of Wisconsin and be rigorously enforced. According to our bill, if you want to hunt them, you have to go through a course that will teach you how to identify a sandhill crane so you're not out there shooting other species of birds that are not able to be hunted. Crane advocates say they aren't against hunting in general and understand the crop damage facing farmers. But they say all options to control the sandhill cranes should be considered. Crane hunting will not solve crop damage. We have developed methods that are effective at solving crop damage for farmers. It's a, a, a deterrent that is put on the corn seedling before it's planted. And once they uh, stop eating the corn that the farmers plant, um, they, um, the cranes remain in the field and feed on other uh, food items. I think the population of sandhill cranes can probably withstand, uh, you know, a, a small take and, and not harm it. I think chemicals can have can play a role, and I think uh, compensation, which uh, is already going on uh, in the state for for other species that do crop damage, can can also play a role. But Keel says chemicals and compensation can only go so far. For him, the simplest solution involves a barrel and a trigger. In Kiwani, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. Crane harvest caps would be put into place by the DNR if the bill is passed. The DNR actually helped Clayfish write the bill according to the Sand National Sandhill Crane Management Plans. And Clayfish says he hopes to have the bill slated for a public hearing in the coming weeks.